Now, just to bring this back with the comment that what we've got to see here is just how all of these four activities manifest all the way through creation. And so, you know, we, we look at the plant and we see the root and the leaf and the flower and the seed and so on. The uh, forms through the etheric forces. And we can look into the plant and look at the processes of the, the stalk and the skin and the mass of the fruit and the tissue formation. Uh, which is what we can see when we start looking at these influences and how they're going to show up in the plant. We can start to see how they're going to be affecting these different qualities of the fruit and so on. And I even went down and if you look at the DNA, these, these genes, the only difference in those genes is an atom of hydrogen, an atom of nitrogen, an atom of oxygen, and an atom of carbon. That's the difference. So it goes right the way down. And so, so it's, it's quite an important image to just get that these activities, these world activities, are working all the way through to the earth. You know, at every level we can find that. And it's a good exercise to do something uh, like a fruit. I've sort of done it there, but you know, that was a good exercise for me to just think what are the four activities in the fruit? what are the four activities in the cell and just start looking at those processes and uh, and and you know it, it helps to clarify this language now uh, Glenn, yeah. just on that one you've got galaxy solar system atmosphere earth and those are the spheres right yeah right, now are those connected to the spirit the astral the yeah yeah so they would be in what order there exactly? Be well, there they are there. There's spirit. So, oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, that answers my question. Yeah, and that, and that informs the rest of the story. Yeah, okay, got it. I just missed that line. Yeah, and so, so these are these, you know, they're monumental, these four things are quite huge. Now, as I said before, it was what is, is that picture we had. The rings picture is just what is. But life, us, we, are moving at 115,000 miles per hour. So that means we're spinning. And just excuse me a little. Just give this a little spin. So that's what's happening. And, and what we know is that once something comes into movement, it polarizes. And that everything in manifestation is polar because of the electromagnetism. But we always have this polar activity taking place. And so what we get in Steiner's lectures, and in particular these 19, uh, what is it, 1921, 1922 uh, uh, lectures, um, uh, I think it's called Foundations of Anthroposophical Medicine. And there he gives this story about how we can identify these different activities that are taking place once we get this polarization. So that the spirit and the physical polarize on the vertical axis. <coughs> and out of that polarization, it builds up to a certain intensity to when we get a polarization across the horizontal plane, which is the etheric and the astral body. And so this is where we have, in a sense, the spirit working through our heads and our physical body coming through our metabolism, and they interact to create this etheric body working through the circulation and the astral body coming into our lungs. And so we have this sort of pulse across the middle. And so this is a structure that we find in life. Once we actually get the movement going and get the sort of thing spinning, we get this polarization. And so these become the world bodies. These are the external activities that are out there. And as I said before, we have these secondary cross that we saw as related to the earth phenomena. And so we can identify this as the internal physical, internal etheric, internal spirit, internal astral. You can say this is a little bit random, but um, I said that and have looked and it's quite clear that this is a process, this, this is quite correct. This is not difficult. The etheric we put onto the eastern horizon, 
So this is where the new impulses and activity come to us. And the astral, in a sense, is the past. So that's the karma. That's all of the results of all of our actions. It's happening in that way. There's various images that we can work with this. Um, but uh, I think you'll find it's correct. So, one of the big issues that we've just been talking about is um, these energetic activities are working down through the various layers. And so, Steiner talks about this a lot in the medical lectures, how we can have the spirit working into the etheric body, or we can have the astral working into the etheric body, and we can actually have it working the other way as well. And as I said, he just gave us different words. So in the agriculture course, when he's talking about the physical bodies of things, he's, he's essentially saying that cosmic forces is when the spirit is working into the physical body, in the nerve sense system and so on. And the same with um, earthly forces is where the etheric is working into the physical organism. And so we have to find some way that, that we can identify what his language is and how these words are all relating to, to this interaction of activities. And this is you know, where we live with this question and look at that and go, well, we've got these activities here, which we can in a sense call, I call them now cosmic activities because they're out there. And then we've got this pattern here, which has the world and the, and the internal activities on it. And so if we get that picture there and place it over that picture there, then <coughs> we come up with this diagram, which then gives us this picture that has every interaction of all of the bodies on this picture. So here we have the, the world spirit working into this world's uh, astral arm, the world spirit working into the internal spirit arm, uh, no, no, the internal, uh, well, I, yeah, the cosmic spirit working into the world physical arm, that should be internal physical arm, that's a mistake there. So, um, so this picture provides a frame of reference for looking at all of the different interactions of this energetic activity which then leads to this picture, which is Steiner's term for that activity. And so that's that second picture that you've got there, is, is um, this picture here. This is, this is actually showing you this process, and it's giving you a reference of all of these energetic activities, and then what Steiner's term is for those activities. And so when you're reading the agriculture course and you come across a particular term, you can identify what it is he's actually talking about. Now, that therefore acts as a glossary for his language, is, is what that provides. 